So here we have a vertical motion question. You have a small stone being thrown upwards with an initial speed of 19.6 meters per second. So it will travel upwards and then come back down. Um, you have to find the greatest height above the point where it was thrown that it gets to. And I'm going to label that small h. What you've got to remember is that it momentarily stops when it reaches its greatest height. And the other thing you've got to remember is that because you're throwing it upwards, we're going to take up as positive, the acceleration due to gravity is going to be minus 9.8. So if we list all those things, we can then see what suvat it is that we can use for part A. We've got u equals 19.6. I'm taking up as positive. So that's why I've got a equals minus 9.8. I've got v equals zero and h is what I'm trying to work out. So you can see that we've got v, a, u and s, which means we use v squared equals u squared plus 2a, s. When you put all of your values in, you get 19.6 squared plus 2 times minus 9.8 times h. So we've got, if I just move this over, um, this here over to the left hand side to make it positive, I've got 19.6h equals 19.6 squared. So obviously when I divide over, I have h equals 19.6. So that's my answer to part A. Part B says find the length of time for which it's more than 14.7 meters above the point it was thrown. So let's say, now I know that h is 19.6. Let's say 14.7 comes about here. And we want to work out the time that it goes above 14.7. Now, there are two times that it reaches this displacement of 14.7. The first is when it's on its way up, and then it will again reach that height on its way down. So if we work out what T1 and T2 are and subtract them, then we will have the time for which the stone was above 14.7. So let's just write down again for part b all the information we know about the stone we know that u is 19.6 we know that a is minus 9.8 we know that s is 14.7 and it's the times that we want t1 and t2 so looking at these four things that we have we know we've got to use s equals ut plus half a t squared. Um, so put in all your values 14.7 equals 19.6 t minus 4.9 t squared. Right, it looks like we can divide everything here by 4.9. So we get 3 equals 4 t minus t squared. So this looks like a nice quadratic that we can solve. This factorizes. So we've got one t value, which is one, that's the one when it's on its way up. And then we've got the second t value of three, which is the one when it's on its way down. So the time that it is above 14.7 is the time between those two times, which is two seconds. So you see this bit here, this red bit here. Takes two seconds. 